do you say? Um, today. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Calvin's Australian Story Zone. Today we're going to be reading Bob Trotter. And Written who? by Margaret Wilde and illustrated by Judith Russell. And this is one of my favourite people in the whole world, Lucia. Hi. <laughs> Bob Trotter, let's read the blurb. Oh, it's a bit glary, we'll have to watch the screen. Every morning, Bob Trotter runs across the bog, up the bog, down the bog, and around the bog until it's time to go home. Sometimes he wishes things would change, but he doesn't know how or what or why. Until one afternoon, when he picks a flower for the first time in his life. Interesting. I'm very curious as to what a bog trotter is and why he's picking up flowers. Because he actually doesn't look like something that would pick up flowers. Now, Lucy and I are sitting in the sand for this and read. getting sandy. Getting flat. sandy. Yes, we are. All right. Let's see. Sorry, Luce. <laughs> Lucy's gone to wash all the sand off. Bog Trotter lived in a gloomy cave in a marshy, mushy bog. Every morning he stretched, yawning and blinking outside his cave. Then he started running. He ran across the bog, up the bog, down the bog and around the bog until it was time to go home. He ran day after day after day. Sometimes he felt bored, but he didn't know why. Sometimes he felt lonely, but he didn't know why. Sometimes he wished things would change, but he didn't know how or what or why. One afternoon, a frog said, Why do you run all day long? Bog Trotter stopped. Because that's what bog trotters do, he said. Don't you ever do anything new and different? asked the frog. No, said Bog Trotter. Ah, said the frog, and away he hopped. Hmm, looks like he's got Bog Trotter thinking. Bog Trotter stared after the frog. He sighed, he shuffled his feet. Poking between his toes was a pretty yellow flower. Uh-oh, he's going to try something different. For the first time in his life, he picked a flower. He smelled it, he twirled it, he stuck it behind his ear. Ah, said Bog Trotter. Then off he ran. Very nice addition to your hair, Bog Trotter. That night, up in his boggy bed, Bog Trotter went to sleep, holding the flower. His heart was hopeful. I don't know that sleeping with a flower is a good idea. The next morning, Bog Trotter went running as usual, but he made himself stop to make friends with a family of musk rats. This is a type of rat. The morning after that, he stopped to swing from a tree. Wait a second, he's doing lots of different things. And the morning after that, he stopped to make a daisy chain of tiny pink flowers. Ah, said the bog trotter. So much better when you try to do different things, which is what I'm trying to do all on this trip. We're going to different places and seeing different things. From then on, bog trotter still kept on running because that's what bog trotters do. But every now and again, he stopped to do something new and different. He stopped to splash about with a family of ducks. He stopped to dance in the summer rain. He stopped to slide down a slippery bank. And he hurried back to fill his home with bulrushes and water lilies. Oh, wow. What a good find. That's what Lucy and I are doing on the beach today. We are treasure hunting. He should have been happy, but he wanted something more. He just didn't know what, or who, or why. What do you think would make all of his experiences better? Lucy, what do you think? I think if he had someone to do it with. Oh my goodness. 
Excellent answer. Maybe he needs a friend. One morning he saw the frog again. Do you ever run outside the bog? The frog asked. No, said Bog Trotter. Why not? asked the frog. I don't know, said Bog Trotter. Ah, said the frog, and away it hopped. Bog Trotter stared after the frog. He sighed. He stared at the frat flat green line of the bog where it met the huge blue sky. That frog's got him thinking again. Off he ran as usual, but for the first time in his life he stopped at the uttermost edge of the bog. <gasps> Taking a deep breath, he climbed over a rotten log. He scrambled up a grassy bank. He clambered over an old stone wall. Oh boy, he is stepping out of his comfort zone. Ah, said Bog Trotter, and he started running. And who knows where he's going to end up next. And that is the end of our story today. Thank you for joining me on Carmen's Australian Storytime. Can you hear the sound of those beautiful waves behind us? We are. Don't forget to slap the subscribe button. Oh yes, thanks Lucy. We are right up past Mission Beach on a beautiful beach heading up to Cairns. We will see you next time. And press the notifications to see more of <laughs> Thanks, time. I'm learning a lot about technology thanks to my two helpful friends, Samson and Lucia. All right, see you next time. Happy Bye. holidays. Bye.